Hi, I'm Carl. I'm here with Frank Promotion, and I'm interviewing the band listener. How are you? Hey, Carl. Hey, Carl. Hey, Carl. Nice to you? see you. Pretty good. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Very okay. well. So, what inspired you to become mus musicians, and what was the first piece of music you heard that really made you want to pick up an instrument and get involved in bands and playing music? I really wanted to make um, hip hop music when I was younger. After I heard um, hip hop music, I just, I was just like, wow, this is the best. And so I started making a whole bunch of it. And um, and then after I started like playing shows and like I, I was terrified about playing shows and I just was terrible and I hated it for a long time and then something changed where I was like, Oh, I kinda like this and then it um, thing like making music was different for me after I started to enjoy playing live and like the kind of living of the music uh, was like a whole other thing aside from the making of the music. Um, I got, <clears throat> there was a kid up the street in my cul-de-sac growing up. His name is Bobby Herrick and he had a drum set and it was just the coolest thing that I had ever seen. Um, cause drums were just awesome. If you sit behind a drum set and you just hit them, they're loud and cool and like you're doing it. Um, and then I was just kind of, I got a drum set that Christmas. Um, I went in half, my parents went in half, and then I was just in bands from then on. Um, just, yeah, what inspired me I, to be a musician? I don't know, all the music I listened to, I thought it was the coolest. It was like one of the only things that ever made sense to me, so. It's kind of along the same lines. My friend gave me a cassette tape with all the like early grunge bands on it and that was kind of what made me fall in love with music and wanting to play guitar so, carrying on from that question so what inspires you now to make new music and sort of push yourself musicians to sort of explore new grounds um for me there's always like um ideas and thoughts and um that come into my mind that i write down and I want to, you know, make them into songs and like, um, and there is that, that aspect of like the making side of art and in music, there's the, or in a lot of art, you go and you show it, you know, like you go and you play it. And for us, like getting to live out the music, you know, when we play on a tour, like it's much different than when we li live at home, like we're out, like at, usually at a club, like living the music. And so there is a, um, there's this cathartic, like, um, uh, I don't know, there's such an enjoyability to it, to, you know, to the making part of it, putting the puzzle pieces together and making the art. But, like, I find that the, the, play, the playing it out world so far in my life, in my experience, has been, like, um, much more of the art, you know, like the live aspect of it. And, and um, that's very inspiring to me to, like, you know, um, I enjoy making art, but also living it out too, playing it. Yeah, um, it's just always like, <clears throat> we're all as three different people constantly writing music. Um, if it's for listener, if it's for our other things, whatever, it's just something that, I don't know, I just like, just do it. Like, just cause I love doing it and I haven't gotten sick of doing it. Um, of writing music and making art in that way uh, yet. And hopefully I don't because it's just, it's so, it's crucial to like my life. Um, what inspires me to make new art? Just, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I really don't know. I, w I guess if I knew, like, I just want to, I like it. Like I want to make the best record that I can make. Like I listen to records and I'm like, shit, this is such a good album. Will I ever make something as good as this? Um, and so it kind of just like, it, it's, an, it's inspiring in that way to just like try and do your absolute best. Um. I think sometimes like the creative process for me, I think a lot of people is like a campfire that slowly starts, you know, dwindling and then you find a new piece of music or a movie or whatever it is 
and it's like throwing logs on the fire again and it sparks your creativity and it just comes out but that's I think just the idea of creating something from nothing is so rewarding for like your mind and your soul and that's why we do what we do and it's almost like you have to be creative because it's just part of you and that's what continues to spark your creativity to keep going last question I have for you is um so what philosophies or skills do you think musicians have like being in the modern era now do you think they should really take up upon and what do you think a lot of people have to realize getting into music or things or advice you could give younger bands starting out do it the way we're doing it you know just <laughs> like what you like and make what you want to make and keep going if you want to keep going and don't do it if you don't want to do it um, if you want to go and make a record, then you should, and don't stop until you have it done. And if you don't want to make a record, then don't do it. Go do something else. You know, if you want to go out on a tour, go book a bunch of shows and play it. And if you don't want to go on a tour, that's okay too. Don't do it. You know, like it's very like, do you want to do it? Okay, well then, you know, like uh, kind of like um, the do-it-yourself mentality of like not waiting around for some other phantom audience to come around you or record label or management or something that's going to go oh you have worth you know you have worth already like as a person and as a band and the music you make like believe in that all the way you know all the way to wherever you want to go you know like uh, versus like hoping someone else will believe in you to make something for you yeah like if you want to be in a touring band like the one difference between a, a, a band and a touring band is a touring band is touring so if you want to go on a tour go book a tour you know it's not that hard and you don't have to have someone else to do it for you um, I think that the, the only like real requirement is like a passion for it because out of that passion comes like honesty and like a hard work ethic. Like if you don't, like Dan said, if you don't want to do it, you don't do it. Like if you want to be in a big famous band and not have not work at all, I, maybe you can do that. I haven't. I know that's not what I want to do. So I don't. I guess I don't know. You know. Yeah. I've apologized to a few friends who have like. I've given advice to and like my advice is just like yeah just work your ass off and you it probably won't ever pay off um, and then they go and they like work their asses off and like yeah, I don't know it pays off in a, in a way it's not like we haven't cleared any vaults to put money into yet um, but soon we will be yeah. no we won't no. I mean, it kind of goes back to it just boils down to what you want out of life. Like, yeah, there is, you know, the three percent of musicians that do well and can survive and make, you know, a really nice living off of music. And then there's the rest of us who like struggle and have struggled for ten, fifteen years. Yeah, we make a few dollars and pay most of our bills some of the time, but we wouldn't do anything else because we love what we do. And that's why we're here. And the only way to get there is hard work. Like, no one's going to hand it to you. You got to get out there and do it for yourself. Like, and if you try and put those, like, elements of success in someone else's hand, you're never going to be happy with it until you just do it for yourself. That's it. Thanks for that. So sweet. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. Thanks.